Under construction name, time remaining. That should be combined. Whatever. Uh, queue emergency build status icons. Uh, facility space used total. Facility space used and facility, facility space total. There we go. Maybe remaining facility space. I don't know. I'll call it Blarg. Blarg useful. And there we go. I'll change that to select multiple. Damn it! Damn it! Uh, layout. Edit. Picture. Uh, move to top. Okay, create. There we go. I'm gonna get it nice and tiny. Nice and tiny. Status icons. Facility space used. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Alright, so what did I place, say this place was gonna be? Oh yeah, mining colony. Mining colony, right. Oh wait, nope. I already got two of those things. Okay. Whatever. Control K. Delete that shizzy. Everywhere I want at least one temporal space yard. One temporal space yard facility. There's. Actually, considering that it only takes. Uh, um. Actually, no. I still have five of those damn things up, so it would not behoove me to do that quite yet. Alright, uh, what is your ship without order? Next ship? Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, sip of my tea. Mmm, that's good stuff. communications we're planning a massive offensive in where trekking system unless you remove your ships they might get damaged and of course my message has been sent relaying ruffle 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 okay reply Let's see here uh Let's see here uh demand your surrender Demanding. Cool story, bro. I've been I've been watching too much Grimace lately. All right. Let's check our research really quickly. Actually, no. Let's check on this place. Five shit. But now let's check our research. No, 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 no. Meh. Actually, no. No, no, no. We'll leave that there. Shields. Take that off. Take that off. <clears throat> Vote everything. There we go. <sighs> okay, actually, let's take some... Let's take this off, even. Instead, concentrate. There we go. Nah. That'll do. I'm in a nice, relaxed mood right now. I'm drinking pomegranate tea, and I'm having veggie sticks. Yum. Mmm. Tactical. Let's do this shit. You got jack shit. You guys are boned. You guys would have eventually starved. And I regret nothing. You deserve to die. Well, everyone on the planet is dead. I won. 
Your cities will burn in the lights of our avenging fire. Cool story, bro. <laughs> they were not going to be responding because they're dead. Hmm. Oh, good. Refining colony. Thank gosh. I need radioactives. Like, really badly. Let's actually just take that off. Hey, and now we're making radioactives again. We're back in the black. Hmm. I wonder if I can easily build a beholder here. Up. Done. Mm -hmm. Oh no. So, alright, so let's scrap that. And. How many more than five do we have of these things? One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven. Okay, delete those. And then this will go down and pop those off because they're inferior. They're not of the they're not of the superior race. <coughs> Wait a minute, hold on, let me freaking God damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, shit. Thought you could hide from me, you little bastard. No, you cannot. No, sir, you shall not. You shall not hide from me at all. Alright, so first things first. I'm gonna want... No, not that. That. Three of those. Let's see here. Facilities. Okay, so 22, so 17, so that's 20. I can have enough room for two more. Facilities. Oh no! Oh no! Look at that. That fits perfectly. Everything should have one of these and one of those. Every single goddamn planet that I turn into a construction yard should have at least five of these things. Five of these. One, one. One of those. One, one. And finally, as many of these things as they can get. As many research centers as is possible. And finally, upgrade the facilities. Mm -hmm. And we're back in the red again. Oh boy, we're really back in the red. This is going to plummet. Hmm. Oh my. Well, I guess that was floating around in the ether. Oh my. Empire News, we've lost contact. Of course we have. We killed them all. Hmm, so, who are the Solnacht Gestalt? The Solnacht Gestalt. Let's see here. Uh, uh, races, Solnacht. Uh, <clears throat> there is no such thing as a Solnacht as within a group, or Solnesh in, or Solnesh. Individuals are themselves made up of several smaller species acting in harmony with each other. Some are symbiotic, others are not, yet still considered crucial to the greater whole. Some are full sapient, others are just complex enough to feed and excrete. The interplay of these various organisms has puzzled many outside biologists, and a great deal of Sholnish philosophy over the millennia has struggled to explain it as well. The average length of a Sholnot amalgam organism is about 4 meters, which can increase significantly with age. The average lifespan in an amalgam is non-existent. Sholnish reproduce by partially splitting apart. 
with their constituent organisms engaging in a trisexual reproductive cycle. This method essentially causes the soul mesh engaging in it to cease existing, forming sometimes a dozen new individuals from two or three previous holes, each with a new sense of identity but a shared set of skills. Isn't that interesting? Anyways, society description. The Shulnut Gestalt is, as its name would imply, a largely natural result of a large number of Shulnuts getting together and sharing a common socio-cultural identity. A great deal of physical contact between Shulnuts occurs at any one time, and since it is by this method that they communicate, it is also by this method that an individual amalgam is infused with the authority and identity to further the almost unconscious goals of the greater population. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see here. What can we find out about ourselves? Empires. Our empire report. <coughs> Quadrant ride. Population loyalty dec decreased by 8%. Intelligence defense de decreased by 8%. Research generation increased by 8%, foreign population assimilation increased by 8%, population tolerance for war decreased by 8%. Hmm. Our history. The history of the Kurd Shulnacht Gestalt is one dominated by genocide and technological innovation. Before a means of planetary travel were invented, different Gestalts of, of isolated Shulnesh would constantly form. These populations would inevitably war with each other, resulting sometimes in the deaths of billions and the devastation of entire ecosystems. It, was until it wasn't until recently, however, that's a typo, that a particular gestalt had developed an efficient means of mass transit and mass murder that allowed them to wipe out any and all competing collective identities, and it is to this warlike, technologically savvy group that the stars have begun beckoning, have begun beckoning. Oh, tremble! Exactly. Yeah, I, th I think these things through. Anyway, let's see here. Units! I think I'm going to make... 400 Economines! Okay, good. We're st okay, good. The, we'll, we're still in the red, but at the end of this turn, we'll be back in the black. Let's see here. Create a ship. An organic small freighter. Let's see here. Vehicle control. Bridge. Crew quarters. Life support. Sensors. Basic sensors. And of course, the engines. This one can only carry ten again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha ha. And two heavy turning thrusters here. Heavy turning and strafing thrusters. Yes. Hmm. Actually, there we go. Heavier strafing capabilities. <laughs> It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but I like to pretend. Okay, cargo containers. 50% of its tonnage must be dedicated to cargo bays. And that does it. And the rest... <clears throat> actually... Unit launch... Let's actually remove that. Okay, one mine layer, one satellite bay. That works. Yes, that works. Alright, so one religious, one remote mining sensors, unit control. This one is actually going to be having shielding put upon it, because shields are good! Not very many shi- not very much shields, though. This is still a civilian vessel, but it will- not a whole lot of shields, no. It'll still be- it'll still be quite useful, though. Um, let's see here. Uh, armor. One, two, 
carrier because there isn't a freighter designation here. Design name. I'll call this the Cornucopia. The Cornucopia. It shall because it shall be transporting a great many things across the vastness of space. Well there we go. One cornucopia here. Wait, will this even be able to carry all of those uh, cargo space, maybe. So yeah, anime. No, no, no. So unit designs. Oh no, it'll be able to do it easy. It'll be able to carry it easy. Okay, we're just gonna take the blackjacks back into port, and we're gonna actually disassemble them there. Hmm. <coughs> And also, um, copy, so design type, um, yeah, I guess you could say it's the defense ship, as I'm going to be using it primarily for the defensive purpose of exploration. And now supply and ordnance. There we go. Good. And now we'll name this one the Sextant. Heh, <laughs> Sextant. <coughs> and ships. Cornucopia and a sextant. Actually, no. Better idea. Better and cheaper idea coming up later. Oh, yes, yeah, so you're gonna see. It's gonna be awesome. We need to find out who our enemies are and where they are, and then we'll blackjack them up a bit. But before that can even happen, though. There we go. So much shit. Very nice. Let's see here, we're not yet producing any of that. I think it's Control E. Yeah, retrofit vehicles and turn them into six stands. Can I afford it? Yes, I can. Everything's damaged, though. I have two percent damage. It'll take them a while. That's fine with me. Alright. Light hull construction is good. We're just going to let that max out. Uh, in this mod, I have made it so that a maximum of 20 levels per whatever can actually be used. So, light vehicles could be pretty damn awesome. Still, though, the best one is medium heavy vehicles, because that gives me access to cruisers. And I love me some cruisers. I'm going to actually make, be making a beeline for for them cruisers. Politics and intel. Oh, wait, no, that's research. Politics and intel? No, research.